Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs and R.A. Dudrek, the Window King, present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Jenny and Alan watching online in the Big Apple. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Last week we were down south in Cooperstown and it was quiet because the tourists were pretty well gone. Today we are up here in Old Forge and the same thing is kind of true. There aren't too many tourists left, so it's a perfect time of year to come here. Oh, Joe Clark had a yellow cab. She could neither sing nor pray. She stuck her head in a buttermilk jar and washed her sins away. Fare thee well, oh, Joe Clark. Fare thee well, I say. Fare thee well, oh, Joe Clark. I'll be back one day. The Players of Utica presents Next to Normal, a deeply moving Pulitzer Prize winning rock opera. Shows are October 10th through 12th at 7.30 p.m. and the 6th and 13th at 2 p.m. at the Players of Utica Theater on State Street in Utica. Special thanks to our presenting sponsor, R.A. Dudrek, for making the show possible. Pick up the premiere issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, available now for free at many of our sponsors and your closest steward shop. That old house was filled with chicken pie. Fare thee well, oh Joe Clark, fare thee well I say. Fare thee well, oh Joe Clark, I'll be back Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. You'll be all set for the roads ahead with this all-wheel drive Ford Focus. Only 23,000 miles and only $18,995. Mohawk Valley Living fans save an extra $1,000. Now only $17,995 at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Everyone knows the window king for windows because he's been selling good windows cheap for years. But R.A. Dudrek is much more than windows. He's windows and doors, kitchens and floors. So, whether you're looking for energy efficient windows to save money this winter, or a new kitchen to brighten up those long winter months, the Window King has it all. Visit their showroom in beautiful Holland Patton and see for yourself why R.A. Dudrak is the Window King. The CNY Gaming and Entertainment Expo, coming to the Herkimer County Fairgrounds October 18th, 19th, and 20th, featuring over 30 bands, video game tournaments, and pro wrestlers like Jimmy Superfly Snooka, and much more. Visit SmashCow.com for updates. Alpaca Gardens has the largest selection of the finest alpaca clothing and products in central New York. Alpaca is warmer than wool, softer than cashmere, and hypoallergenic. Visit Paca Gardens. Open Monday through Saturday at 27 West Main Street in Little Falls. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market. Known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? and you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with sweet cider, fresh baked pies, and cider donuts. Add some autumn color with decorative gourds, Indian corn, and corn stalks. Celebrate autumn at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. Putting a dollar in the jukebox Roll it down across the floor Save a quarter this week, we head north to Old Forge for the last chance to enjoy the fall foliage. The scenic drive is a main attraction, and crossing Moose River is one of the highlights of the journey. This mountain waterway is a favorite for whitewater rafters and kayakers. Gonna make my name. Although you'll meet other leaf peepers this time of year, most of the tourists are gone, especially if you visit on weekdays. So honey, don't look for me in the morning. Don't cry my name. Although Old Forge is quieter this time of year, there are a thousand stories in this little hamlet, and the staff at the weekly Adirondack is on the beat. 
We ask Marianne Christie, one of the owners of the paper, what kind of stories they cover. Uh, well, it could be just about anything, like, um, for instance, this fundraising for the Strand Theater. Um, it's huge fundraisers that people have done, but kids were doing uh, lemonade stands and selling popcorn and doing other things to contribute to, to keep the theater going, and it's an amazing thing. It's been a great community effort from every aspect of the community. So it's, that's just part, you know, just a small part of it. Plus local government, what's going on there, things that are affecting um, everybody, the taxpayers or your quality of life. The people that come into this community as, as um, visitors or as short-term property owners or whatever, they love to know what's going on in the community and they feel like a big part of it. And it's nice to be able to put a face in our community every week. They'll take care of you, take care of your friends There's nothing better you can do Look at the clock, the time is now Tomorrow's no promise anyhow Take care of your friends After hearing about the community support for the theater, we thought we'd stop by the Strand to say hi to Bob. But he's not here. Across the street, we notice a new roof and colorful paint job on the old Howard Johnson's. And sure enough, we find Bob Card hard at work and covered in paint. He recently restored this local landmark that was at risk of being torn down. We head back over to the theater where Bob remembers Richard's love of Good and Plenty's. He tells us that after all the years and countless hours spent restoring this classic 1920s theater, the cost of conversion to digital projection systems could have been the end to it all. Well, it's an expensive proposition. Uh, studios aren't going to distribute movies on 35mm film anymore, uh, only digitally on hard drives, so all the equipment has to be uh, replaced. So for a theater like ours that has four screens, uh, we're faced with a, a, a cost of about $300,000 to convert. Interestingly enough, I, I mean, people just came out of the, uh, out of the woodwork to, to help us. Uh, uh, community groups formed. Um, Adirondack North Country Association did a, uh, a campaign called, called Go Digital or Go Dark to help us and other theaters in the Adirondack Park in North Country. Locally, the Central Adirondack Association and CAP21, which are both Old Forge-based organizations formed a committee of, of people who just stepped forward and started doing all sorts of fundraising events and then there are kids doing lemonade stands all on their own you know and and out there selling bracelets and uh, it was pretty amazing actually to date they have raised over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars of the three hundred thousand needed to save the strand you can make a tax deductible donation through cap 21 or the anca Call 369-2792 or visit strandoldforge.com for information. And look who's stopping by to be a part of the effort, Gary Van Riper of the Adirondack Kids Book Series. He and his son and co-author Justin have donated copies of their eighth book, Escape from Black Bear Mountain, to help the Strand Project. There's a lot of things that makes this theater special. I mean, if you just walk around this place, it's like a museum. Uh, a lot of interesting artifacts that are here. Plus, when you see what, um, what Bob and his wife have done uh, to, you know, renovate this place. And so we decided to do what so many people in this community have done. We joined the rally to try to make sure these doors stay open. You can buy Adirondack Kids number 8 at the Strand Theater in Old Forge. All proceeds go to the Strand Theater Digital Conversion Project. Also check out Gary and Justin Van Riper's latest book, Adirondack Kids No. 13, The Black Fly Bad Guy, available at your local bookstore. Autumn color isn't the only thing that draws people to Old Forge in the fall. VIEW is a multi-art center that offers year-round workshops, classes, performances, and exhibitions. An annual favorite is the National Exhibition of American Watercolors. We are given a tour by new exhibitions manager, Corey Card. This is one of our most popular exhibits because it's a national show, because it's been going on for 32 years, and we've just got Mernie Cashwell who started the whole um, Arts Guild of Old Forge, which eventually turned itself into view, started the show 32 years ago and has built it and grown it and, and nurtured it to the state it's in now, to where we've become one of the top watercolor shows within, within the country, actually. And it's just going to keep growing, I think, too. This year we have watercolorists from all makes and stripes all over the country, from California, 
Louisiana, Virginia. And in this show, I think it, it's really kind of puts it all together with the fact that you have a diverse array of approaches to the watercolor media too. So it's a really kind of nice survey of watercolor in its many different forms, from the transparent to the, to the more opaque, from the realistic to the abstract. Uh, the Potter's Vincent Clemente, the father of uh, pottery, was in the Mohawk Valley. And um, he's, what, 90 some odd years old. Um, I, I've met him once, I swear he looks like he's 70. And you know he's still working today, and his pottery's been very successful here within the, within the context of the show. People people have really enjoyed it as a, as a compliment, and he's done really well. The National Exhibition of American Watercolors is on display at View through October 27th. Also on display are the paintings of Robert and Kathy Partridge, a father and daughter duo from Clinton, New York. Bob is an award-winning artist whose work is inspired by the unique beauty of the Adirondack Mountains. His daughter's paintings reflect her interest in animals and nature. The Partridge Family Show is on display through October 27th at View. For lunch, we decide to head back to the brightly colored front door diner. This diner and bar is a new venture for Albert Kiss and Tom Greco, a couple of local guys. They are quickly becoming known for their homemade food, including the unusual yet addictive truffle oil fries. This has been a landmark in Old Forge for as long as I can remember. I recall coming here as a young man. It had that very famous orange roof back when it was a Hojo's, a Howard Johnson's. Well, the roof is again orange, and you can come here and have food that's incredible. Homemade bread, homemade soup, homemade East Judica Riggies right here in the heart of Old Forge. Uh, we opened the restaurant in the end of June. Um, me and a friend of mine, Tom, decided to go on the venture together and take on the, the massive reconstruction of the old Howard Johnson's. Um, Bob Carr did a lot of the work. He's the landlord. and then. Uh, we redid the whole kitchen and bar and refinished the, the front diner as well. So I'm trying to get different food in here, doing Mexican food, doing Greek food, doing some original Italian food as well, pizzas and, and whatnot. Going great, I mean, uh, we can't complain. We've uh, caught up on most of our bills and uh, paid our taxes for the first time, so I guess we're real adults now. <laughs> there was day trips and fishing trips and camping and Overlooking downtown Old Forge is a brand new restaurant bar, the 46 Sky Lounge. It officially opens in the spring of 2014, but we're invited up for an introductory opening. We skip the elevator and climb the three flights of stairs to check out the view. We ask the manager, Brian Murphy, son of the owners of Tony Harper's restaurant below, how the response has been. Oh, awesome. People have loved it, the views, and I don't think people have seen a, a rooftop bar in this area and ever. So it's um, something just really, really exciting, and you get to take in all the nature and everything that this town people, has to offer. people watching. And people watching, exactly. Yep. That's one of the most fun parts. People don't think to look up, so you can sit up here and have a drink and check out, check out the town and get a pulse for it. Starting next season will be May 1st to October 31st. And um, this next couple of weeks with the weather is kind of like a soft opening to see what works, what doesn't, and then um, be ready for next year. And hope we have a lot of fun up here. As I drive through the road in Burden Hillside, I can feel my troubles fade away. Nothing like trees and mountain streams to bring you back to reality. If the 46 Sky Lounge wasn't high enough for you, you can take the McCulley Mountain Scenic Chairlift up over Old Forge for sweeping views of Fourth Lake. We even meet some fans of the show enjoying the ride. The chairlift operates daily, except Tuesdays, through Columbus Day weekend. Hello, hello, my old friend.
good to have you home. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. You'll be all set for the roads ahead with this all-wheel drive Ford Focus. Only 23,000 miles and only $18,995. Mohawk Valley Living fans save an extra $1,000. Now only $17,995 at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Be sure to attend the 32nd Annual Adirondacks National Exhibition of American Watercolors. Ranked one of the best watercolor exhibitions in the country, the exhibit features works by many of the greatest living painters in North America. On display now at View in Old Forge. Visit Brenda's Natural Foods in their brand new, bigger location, right down the street at 236 West Dominic Street in Rome. Brenda's Natural Foods, something good and a lot of it. Hi, welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. We have two full floors with 50 vendors of interesting and unique products ranging from specialized to very eclectic, primitive to the not so primitive. Remember, shop local, we're worth the trip. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Why do contractors and do-it-yourselfers shop Lincoln Davies? It's the superior grade lumber, the value for the money, the 140 years and six generations of customer service. Since 1872, Lincoln Davies has delivered superior lumber, value, and service, and they're not about to change things now. Celebrating 140 years at the same location, just 10 minutes south of New Hartford on Summit Road between Routes 12 and 8. Lincoln Davies, building them like they used to. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Water's Edge Inn and Conference Center, Old Forge's premier lodging destination, presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. Today I want to tell you about a new recreational trail that's a through hike from the village of Old Forge to Macaulay Mountain. All the information that you'll need to negotiate the trail system can be found right at the trailhead. Uh, there's a map, a place to sign in, and that's right next to a great parking area located behind the high school. Uh, on Park Avenue. According to the map provided here at the trailhead, there are all kinds of hikes you can make from this spot. There are shorter loops that are a little bit easier, um, more difficult loops that take you a little bit longer time, or if you hike straight through, it's about a mile and a half to the mountain. There are drinking fountains at the end of the hike up at the ski lodge, but you really should consider taking a little day pack with you anyway with some essentials, especially some water. About half of the trails that you'll be hiking on in this system are really wide, which is nice because a lot of the trails in the Adirondacks are kind of narrow and you've got to hike single file all the time. But here, um, you can hike right next to your hiking partner and carry on a conversation. There's actually some great uh, historical features all along this uh, recreational trail. And uh, we're on the uh, old towpath. Uh, that was used to actually bring the skiers up to the summit of Abenaki. And the way they did that was to use an old truck, block up the back end. It was retrofitted with a shiv, and you can tell by looking at the truck, uh, this was somewhere around the uh, 40s or even maybe the late 30s. It's been 10 long years since I've seen We're now at the high point and the midpoint of the recreational trails uh, associated with Macaulay Mountain. And uh, it might be hard to believe when you look behind me right now, but uh, we're on Abenaki. And uh, skiers used to ski down this slope back to Old Forge in that direction right there. This is all secondary growth here that's blocking the way. The real diehard skiers, though, would get here to the summit of Abenaki, look south and see Macaulay and say, I'm skiing that. 
And so they would actually ski down Abenaki and work their way up across the swamp and work their way up the mountain and then ski back down Macaulay and then make their way back home. If you've ever wanted to try experiencing the Adirondack wilderness from a kayak, but have been a little bit intimidated to do so, we suggest that you stop by the Mountain Man Outdoor Supply Company and they can hook you up just off Main Street and you can be in the Adirondack wilderness within minutes. I'm here on the banks right now of the Moose River just before you get to Old Forge and this morning Clark's going to tell you how you can take the mystique out of getting onto the waterways here in the Adirondacks and create your own adventure. Well, the Moose River itself, I just got to mention, this is a huge natural resource for the town of Old Forge. On, on a good weekend, we could have, us alone, 80 boats on the water at a time. You have three options. We can take you upstream to the North Street Bridge. We'll launch you from there. It's all flat water as you paddle back to our dock, except for a little shorter rapids. It's, uh, it's called Indian Rapids. We got a little carry goes around it. Okay, piece of cake. Option number two, we launch you off the dock right here. You can paddle this whole stretch up to the Indian Rapids or, and you can paddle downstream to the Lock and Dam, which is the old broken down dam. And that in itself is a good three hour round trip. Now I suggest that people when they do that, that they take a picnic lunch with them and then just hang out there, go swimming and then paddle on back. It's a beautiful trip. Now the North Street trip is much more of a wilderness trip. As you're paddling that, there's a good chance that you'll see otter, you'll see herons, beaver we've got beaver actually uh, building a house up here and now we now have moose in the area they have relocated we've uh, had our folks have seen them down the stream about five miles and then in the winter time the snowmobilers found the antlers up at rondax i'm sure it has a lot to do with the serenity and I'm gonna use the term spirituality of being on the water. It's really quiet out there. It's really relaxing. It's easy to do, especially the kayaking. And it's a nice easy float that as you're coming down a river, even though there's a lot of other people on the river, you're all going at the same pace. You feel like you're the only one on the river the whole time. It's really beautiful. If you'd like to explore some of the other small ponds and lakes that are nearby, you can stop by Mountain Man here and they'll hook you up by loading a kayak right onto the top of your car, give you all the equipment that you need. So just bring an adventurous spirit and add another page to your own Adirondack Journal. The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. We visit nearby Forestport and the studio gallery of artist Constance Smith. Here she creates Adirondack landscapes and wildlife art on canvas, fungus, saw blades, tinware, or any other surface she chooses, even turkey feathers. She's always looking for new ideas, but painting is nothing new to Constance. Oh, well, uh, I was five years old <laughs> and uh, I've been painting ever since. I was an uh, uh, art major in high school and uh, college. I went to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn and uh, I'm an interior designer by trade. Oh, okay. So uh, art is in my blood and uh, if I didn't have my art, yeah, I'd probably go bonkers. <laughs> I've done many, many things in my life. I worked for uh, two industrial designers and uh, did a lot of drawing and uh, um, offices, interior for offices for them, through them. Uh, made scale models of uh, industrial machinery. And, That's quite uh, a bit different than the, the nature things you do. Yes, well, I live near the Adirondacks, you know, and so uh, I, I've been to the Southwest. I painted in New Mexico, and uh, in Mexico, and other various places. But this is my home, and uh, I also go to Monhegan Island for 20 years off the coast of Maine. And uh, I can't sell those seascapes 
in upstate New York. So I've, I've started to do a lot more Adirondack work since I've been back here to stay. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Discover affordable, original works of art by dozens of talented local artists at the Artisan's Corner. Find paintings and prints, glass and pottery, designer knitwear and painted silk, jewelry, candles, soaps, and more. All local and all at the Artisan's Corner in Clinton. Do something about your chronic pain. InterX therapy can be the answer to your post-surgical or sports injury rehabilitation or chronic neuropathic pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone at 853-6225 for non-invasive InterX therapy. Experience life in the 1800s at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Tour historic village and peek inside to see tradespeople at work. Visit the Lippet Farmstead, a living example of a mid-19th century farm. Enter the world of tractors October 12th and 13th during Tractor Fest. See classic tractors from the 1920s to tractors of today. Enjoy wagon rides and small engine demonstrations at Tractor Fest October 12th and 13th at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. The Village Crossing is full into fall. Your favorites have arrived, including comfortable cropped and tapestry jackets. Come in and they'll help you put it all together at the Village Crossing in Clinton. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. When you shop Milan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Baby, can't you see no matter where you go, you never find another friend like me. Anytime, well, you are alone and blue, please every home, won't you? I'll be waiting for you. We hope that you enjoyed today's show and be sure to get up here to the Adirondacks to enjoy this final burst of autumn. Between now and next week, enjoy Mohawk Valley living. Honey, honey, I